welcome to Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. I'm Catherine Falk with Cox Communications. Thank you so much for joining us today. As part of our Policymaker Series, we're very thrilled to welcome Ken Plum from the Virginia House of Delegates to join us today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Catherine. Glad to be here. And you represent the 36th District in the Virginia House of Delegates. Tell us what that encompasses. That's essentially Reston, and it's a few precincts south of Reston in the Oak Hill area. So it's a very compact uh, district, uh, wonderful voters. Great, and you have been in the General Assembly for about 30 years now, which is truly a feat and gives you a tremendous amount of seniority. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of changes over that time. Enormous number of changes, but having been there for a while, seniority puts me in a position of being now chair of the Democratic Caucus in the House. I'm also the ranking member of the Commerce and Labor Committee, as well as the Agriculture, Chesapeake and Natural Resources Committee. That's terrific. And I know your background is really as an educator. You've lived in the community in Reston for almost 40 years and um, had a large role in public education. Yeah, I worked for Fairfax County Schools for 30 years, and I've worked also in the legislature on education issues. I really think we can do more in education in Virginia. Preschool education, for example, is an enormously rewarding investment, and we don't do nearly enough in making preschool available to our children. Our K-12 program is supposed to be a, a partnership between local government and state government but the state has faltered in its ability to support public education and we need to do more. We have a wonderful college and university system, but again, it's a matter of making the investments to make sure that people whose children come through our public schools will have access to our public colleges and universities as well. And those are the kind of things that have always been a priority for me and I think the, one of the best investments government can make is in public education. Absolutely, and we're lucky to have an educator in the General Assembly to, to lead those issues for us. I know another issue that's so important to your constituents and our viewers is traffic. Um, driving around here, we see it every day, morning, noon, and night. What's the General Assembly doing to address the traffic issues? Well, not nearly enough, and it's been a, a subject of frustration for the last several years that we haven't been doing more. Locally, I've spent a lot of time working on the extension of Metro Rail to the uh, through Reston to Dulles and in F Loudoun County. Balancing our transportation system of using more mass transit is part of the solution, and that project I'm pleased to say now after many, many years of effort is finally underway. But we need to also look at alternative ways that we can finance projects. For example, the Route 28 experience of where we're using a special tax district, and we're also using special tax district with Dulles Rail, is a subject that we ought to pursue more. The use of technology now in the collection of tolls and so on makes that a much more feasible way to go. The thing being is that the legislature has to buckle down and make tough decisions. The situation is not going to get any better and our lack of inaction is only uh, creating more of a problem. So I'm committed to uh, running on a platform and helping others get elected who will take action to relieve traffic congestion and make our transportation situation in Northern Virginia better. Great, and I know that uh, conservation issues are so important, and you were recently named a hero by the League of Conservation Voters, the legislative hero, congratulations. What's the General Assembly doing about conservation issues? Well, once again, it's a matter that needs to be on our agenda. Uh, the increase in, in greenhouse gases and the climate change that's occurring is one that needs to be a subject of concern to everyone. Certainly in our homes, by changing our light bulbs, by weatherizing our homes, we personally can make a contribution to that. But at the state level, we can do things as well. I worked on the Governor's uh, Climate Change Commission, and we need to do more by having our utilities be more energy efficient. Great. And I know that you love to hear from your uh, constituents um, out there. How can they get in touch with you and, and, and give you their opinions? Well, go to my website, kenplum.com. Very simple. You'll find my email address, kenplum at aol.com, as well as my phone number. Great, and I know you'd love to come talk to their groups as well. I'm available anytime. Great. Delegate Ken Plum, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Pat. And thank you for joining us on Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. Have a great day.